you want the truth. Oh, I thought you wanted the truth about the truth. Okay, the truth is you can drive these cars all year round. You can drive them in the winter. What happens if it's minus 40? It looks not going to start going up to the front. Uh, Are you're... the environment? There's really nothing to start in this car. Um, yeah, there's a few moving parts, but in general, yeah, if, I, if think of it as like the difference between an, an old iPod moving parts and you're going for a jog and the, the disc is spinning and it, 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 it shakes and you, you get like the, the sound jump skips out and stuff. And then you think about the new um, iPhones or whatever it is, the newest technology that is all just kind of flash media and there's no moving parts and you can take it in the pool, you can, you, can, it's, you know, that's what this is. It is any, anywhere, anytime. Albert in February, and uh, that's you know, impossible. My tow truck. Uh, no, I had the car drove by itself. We used the actual wheels that are on the car to spin, and I got there just okay. spinning those wheels. This actually, obviously, batteries in my cell phone and laptop don't last long. Yeah. So why would you buy a car with batteries? Um, that's a huge myth that the batteries are going to not last. I have a lot of people ask about, oh well, how expensive is it to replace the batteries in the car? You don't I, replace them, do you? No, I don't think so. I, if, if you do, I'm doing it wrong, because I'm don't. i not planning on replacing the batteries. No one's ever done it. <laughs> yeah, a million mile cars who haven't done it. Yeah, this car should uh, should last me many, many years. It probably will last my daughter several years before the batteries get to a point where it's not functional. What? Um, what? I think I'll probably want to replace the styling of the car before I have to worry about anything functional not working. What about people who think you're a hockey elitist I say people who are maxing green. Yes, uh, you know, I personally have had some people call me a hippie online and ask where, why don't I have a mad bun because I drive an electric car. Do you have a man, no I man don't. bun? I don't. I don't think I could grow a man bun even if I tried. I just don't think it would fit me. Yes. Uh, but I am a vegan, so I guess, you know, they are not that far off the whole hippie thing. But uh, no, I think this car is for anyone. It's 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 for people like me who are hippies, but it's also for people who um, like yeah, I don't know, not having to worry about high prices of fuel in their vehicle. So people who want a car, they don't have to worry about servicing very much. I like that this car just works. I don't have to like go and take it every few months to get parts changed or whatever. Um, some people maybe like that. Some people like kind of going and having you know changing their oil and, and spending it's time comforting. with the car. It's comforting. I like that this car just drives. It, I put it into gear and it drives, and that's all there is to it. And I like the free coffee. Too. Yes. And the newspapers. Oh, yeah. If you do like, you might end up missing that. I also like that this car doesn't even have a start button. I just sit in it and it's ready to drive. Okay. There's not even a start button. Okay. Like, obviously you're more making more pollution because you live in Saskatchewan where 49% of electricity comes from coal. Right. Yeah, that's also a big myth that uh, this car, now certainly there is something to be said for where you get your energy to power your vehicles. Um, luckily, and thankfully, the the grid, even in Saskatchewan, is getting cleaner every year. Even in Saskatchewan? Even in Saskatchewan, our grid is getting cleaner. Uh, so luckily, in five years from now, this car will be cleaner and more efficient uh, with the energy that it's using now, or in five years versus now, whereas pretty much I can guarantee you most other cars that don't uh, run electricity are going check, to be check, losing check. efficiency over time. So yeah, there's that There's that aspect, absolutely. But yeah, this car, um, as time goes by, as the grid gets cleaner, it will be even better. But luckily, I can, I can tell you that even runoff coal of this car is more energy efficient and less polluting than I would probably guess 99% of your gas cars out there. Hybrids are uh, are certainly you know have their benefits, and they may be there might be some that are you know they're more efficient. But I think luckily this car is very efficient. Thank you. Did that answer any of your questions in a way that wasn't? Uh, yeah. Now will you answer one of my questions? Yes. When are you going to have this online? Uh, tonight or tomorrow? You didn't sound sure about that. It's one of two things, John. You can wait. Is it a matter of waiting or you want to get your lawyers? Is, is it a, an issue of, of when your lawyers are going to be open? They will be more expensive today. But, yeah. I'll go home and work on it and we'll see if I can get it done tonight.